Cave Dwellers, you fellow weirdos, freaks, and fans of the bizarre you, it's your favorite spooky show co-host, Scary Sally, here to welcome you to another spine-tingling episode of Basement 1F. Thank you to the Queen of Chaos herself. I'm Mitch, your friendly neighborhood co-host, and I'm surprised you made it through that without swearing. Thanks, Mitch. Now let's get the show on the road. Bitch tit. <sighs> well, this week, our producer Todd had a great idea. Give the dwellers the skinny, Todd. Well, I thought we could each do a top five list and read them round Robin style. Is that where you put your left leg behind your ear while using a... Don't look at me now before she tries to demonstrate. It just means you take turns doing the lists. Oh, what am I talking about then? Sally, you both frighten and thrill me. She's why I lock my dressing room door. You can both slam your dicks in a car door. Yeah. My top five list is about local food fare, particularly the cheeseburger. At number five, we have the all-in-one from Burger Bunker. This cheeseburger is topped with fries and onion rings. No need for a side dish here. Okay, that's tasty, but not as tasty as my top five list of horror movie slashers you may not have heard of. I was going for more of a local vibe. And I wanted to keep the dwellers watching. At number five, we have The Carnival Man from 1994's Carnival of Gore. Dude slits so many throats in this movie like it's his only move. Not a complaint, by the way. Love the costume, though. I have never heard of that movie. Probably because it's not a superhero space opera. That's more of a Todd thing. But hey, good transition. What do you got, Todd? For my top five list, I am doing clipboards. I'm sorry, what? Did you say clipboards? Yes, I did, Mitch. At number five, I have the standard old thin wood clipboard. Like my old clipboard here, that broke a month ago and hasn't been replaced yet. Only costs $4.50. Okay, well, on to my number four, the East-West Sandwich from Golden Grill Cafe. This burger features two half-pound patties, American cheese, shrimp fried rice, and two pork egg rolls. The fortune cookie is just a prescription for Lipitor. I'd still eat it. Sometimes you can't decide on dinner, you know? Now, back to the murder with my number four slasher, Prospector Jack from the coal mine, 1979. This old bastard splits more melons than Gallagher, and good luck getting that reference. Just how old are you, Sally? I'm worldly. Well, my number four clipboard goes to this wooden beauty, the Clip Champ Plus. It features solid oak construction, cup holder, and astronaut pen. And those things write in freaking space. Retails for $129.99. And would make any producer super happy. Feels like I'm on a game show. Back to the good list and my number three local burger, the Buffalo Classic from Giggles Bar and Grill. This combo features a prime cut steak burger topped with boneless buffalo wings with ranch and blue cheese dressing on top and a side of Inferno hot wings. I asked the chef if I could have the burger separately and I was told I could go fuck my mother. Who the hell wouldn't want wings, you pansy? Acid reflux, it's a thing. Well, I'll take that order with a cookies and cream shake while I watch the 2004 direct-to-DVD gem, Phantom Forest and its unnamed killer. Dude is nuts, shoots lasers and makes people explode scanner style. Only drawback is it's 2004, so the visual effects are typical garbage for the era. Now to Todd for his begging for supplies. Yup, at number three, the clipboard matrix. This import has an eight inch display and features real time news updates, not to mention that cool snake game. Two ninety nine ninety nine. but usually found on sale. I'm just saying, no pressure. Odd, that's the same price for my number two local burger, the Surf and Turf XL from the Swedish chef's new restaurant, Bork. This expensive bite features a brioche bun, Kobe beef patty, a full lobster tail, and truffle sauteed mushrooms. It's a lavish feast of a burger. I wish they shelled the lobster first though. My teeth are killing me. That thing costs $300? It better come with a drink and $200. You pay for opulence. At Bork. Celebrity chefs, what do you want me to say? Well, my runner-up is a forgotten classic. The depraved woman stalker, Ben Simmons, from the upstairs. Not high on gore, but the dude stalks these poor women to death with his stalking and disturbing banter. You do watch normal movies too, right? What's abnormal about a guy lusting after a woman? Ben just goes a bit wacky with it. Seven times in 90 minutes. Onto my number two, and it is a big one. Digiclip has just released their new clipboard, the Xenoboard 6000. It features nanobit internet connectivity as well as a superior graphical editing technology. 
and clips papers to it also. Retails for just short of $3,000. I think it's a solid investment for any company looking to grow and keep producers in line. You know I have no say over show supplies, right? I know he's watching. So buckle up, dwellers, and notify your next of kin. RJ McFatbellies has a burger for the hardcore. This spit in the face of common sense and humanity is 12 beef patties, eight slices of three different types of cheese, a pound of bacon, a half pound of honey ham, seven chicken fingers, sauteed onions, and stone ground mustard. It's called the headshot. Do you get anything if you finish it? Heart palpitations, most likely. Dude, all I ever see you eat are like powdered donuts. I never said I was a dietitian. You got any more donuts? Can we get on with it? What? All this burger talk has got my tummy rumbling. Okay, my number one clipboard comes from Tesla. If I buy you a clipboard, will you stop? I accept your offer. Sweet. Sally, take us out. Number one goes to Nurse Lacey from the 1982 Overlooked Masterwork, Urgent Care. It's boss. Lacey loses it and takes it out on the patients. Top-notch kills really strikes a chord. Nurse Lacey is a queen of horror killers. Damn, Sally, why haven't I heard of this movie? On release, it got an X rating. Too much gore? Well, not exactly. Urgent Care also features one graphic sex scene. Is it that bad? Well, by one I mean ten, and by sex scene I mean it's a porno. It's a porn film? With good gore and acting, you're focusing on the wrong shit. And with that, I'm going to call it on this episode of Basement 1F. For Todd and Scary Sally, I'm Mitch, and we'll see you next time. I got a copy if you want to watch it. Yeah, okay. Can I get a CC on that email?